Okay, we're back to the DM3000. Uh, again, we're about to fire it up, let you see how it runs, how quiet it is. A few little features, you got a little override for the door, things like that. Uh, you've got all kind of pro of RS-232, interfaces, things like that. All that again will get replaced. Let's see what happens here. Oh, we get a light, look at that. Well, at least the fluorescent light works, that's pretty slick. Uh, we've got, but the spindle is going, quiet machine, and let's see what kind of, I measured this with a digital tachometer earlier, uh, with this pulley arrangement, I'm running a 1785 RPM at high on nine, and if I take it all the way down to one, uh, seem to get right around 40 to 48 RPM. Pretty good rigidity. Well, the safety switch again shut the door off, but I can flip this switch. And I know this isn't... Huh, the belt does slip. Uh, maybe a little bit more RPM. It's spinning. I'm trying to squeeze it. Probably doing 60 RPM here quite a bit of force against me uh, of course I'm coming from a sure line so uh, you have to understand that this is considerable power I don't think it'll be choking any tools anytime soon uh, quite a wonderful machine I can't wait to really get it up and running and uh, as you can see I have a separate control for coolant should I, I don't have it hooked up at this moment turn it off a program to local if I was using their equipment all this control panel will change. I presume that uh, I'm going to run ammeters for load meters and things like that. Uh, keep watching. 